All right, y'all. I'm gonna show you how to make a plain beat. All right. I don't know if you can see it here or not, but you select a channel is right over here. Pattern one. They already got four things set for you. And I have to assume you open for loop six. Kick, clack, hi hat, and a snare. Right now I'm gonna focus on the kick, so I'm gonna go to my file what I got on my sample. So let's go to kicks. Is that right? choose this one all right before you choose the kick make sure you check your attack levels all right mine seem all right so let's go back because when you kick old kick it ain't on time so you gotta tune it right so you see right here this is my attack button right here now it's on timing so let's check it out all right we got channel one kick Let's go with channel two. Let's find a clap. Sometimes I use a snare, but let's use a regular clap. I'm gonna go to 88 real quick. Check if I got a clap there. Nope. <clears throat> Check on 99. Nope. All right, let's go to my clap file. Sorry. Pen clap. That'd be all right. All right, now your hand clap is on a two, so once it hit one, two, three, four, it's got to hit a two and a four note. So let's see what it sounds like. All right, let's see what it sounds like again. All right, we got two of those. Now hi hat. Sometimes the hi hat is hard to choose, no matter what kind you got. I got a limited of it, so I'm going to use oh, let's, go, let's go house clap. All right. Now, your hi-hat is on the E, so there's one E, one E and, sorry, and, and note. It's uh, the note that bunch of hit two or three, so see the setting? One E and, the so on the end right here. Make sure you put on the end because it won't sound right. Test it. Go to your attack level. It's a little too loud, so let's lower it down. Sometimes you get to do ways this way, or you can go to select channel. Go down here and just lower this little on there. This is how you master your track, so let's see what it sounds like. Alright, let's see. Let's choose a snare. That'd be kind of good right there. Slide in our channel. Your snare is on one, two, three, four note. Right on the kicks. Hear it? Get to your attack level. Alright, now we're going to choose a bass. I always use samples because I can't come up with my own kind of bass line. So, oh, that sounds kind of good. Alright, there's two ways you can do it. You can grab the sample and slide right here and just put on the an anode and be... Which is alright. What I always like to do is go to this program called Direct Wave. What you do, you go, so, uh, you click on this, right click it, and go insert or replace. Make sure you, if you go to replace the sound, so just press re uh, replace. Go down here, go Direct Wave. This nifty little sucker right here is the best program I ever uh, saw and used all the time. So, 
Just grab this sucker. Slit your nose, which is already selected. Go to zone. Now, you can gain the volume without using this or your master control. So let's go to the game. Let's go put it on 30. Now let's change the pitch. Let's see what that sounds like. Now let's slit another channel. We gotta add a melody to it. I'm a hard house dude, so I don't do that much good trance melody since I'm making a trance sound. So let's use a program. Um, I always like to use WAPS. WAPS is a pretty good program. Select your WAPS, select your program file. Alright, channels on three. Lower it down, and if you want to get that good rebound or delay sound, just go over here to your FX box, select the sound. Um, I'm going to do delay too, so I'm just going to make something up real quick. see what it sounds like oh yeah I forgot to show this in the beginning this right here up here you got a song a pat pat is where you select your patterns when you do a song a song is a complete song after you put your settings on there so first play That's my friends and how to make a step-by-step -step beat from using Free Loop 6. I will show you more in the later on. Um, that's it. Also, when you do this, make sure you put save as because sometimes you can pair my fuse up if you've got so many, like I do, use over 20 channels. So don't overload your shit. <laughs> if you're working on a song, save your shit, then work on it. Cause you don't want to lose all your shit on a good ass song that you just made and bye bye alright I'm out